Well, Carson, with the weather the way it has been the past few days, you're almost not really missing mm. out on much. You're not like itching to get out yeah. to the water park when it's so muggy out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's muggy and all, it's also rainy, Cynthia. It's been raining almost nonstop. I won't say nonstop, but it has been raining, which it's very hard to get some of that pool time in over the past couple of days because of the rainy afternoons. And this afternoon, for some of us, it's not going to be that much different. That's a live look outside in Tyler. Now, we're not seeing much in the way right now. Uh, we will see it a little later on. All we're seeing is just a little bit of drizzle over Panola County to the east of Carthage there. More so along the northern point of Toledo Bend Reservoir, starting to push into Louisiana. That's the only activity we're seeing across East Texas, but that will be changed and you will need to keep your wits about you if you are planning on heading outdoors this afternoon. This is one o'clock still dealing with the clouds, maybe a little bit of drizzle because we do have an active weather pattern in place, but deep East Texas probably going to see the rain first. We will see showers and thunderstorms fire because of that daytime heating because I do expect those temperatures to climb about five to 10 more degrees. It does become a little more widespread for our eastern counties, but once again, I think only about 40 to 60 percent of us will see those showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. That wave moves out. We have a break at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, but all eyes will be out to the west where we will see more storms move into the area and the daytime heating should really help us out tomorrow. But by 11 o'clock, I do think most of us aren't going to be seeing in the rain anymore, but more rain is on the way out to our southwest that will push into the area and then we've got rain on the way for most of your Thursday as well. But again, over the next three days, I only have about 40 to 60% of us seeing the rainfall, which means not everybody will see the rain. It's certainly a possibility, but not everybody is going to see it every single day. Now, temperatures are already in the 70s. It's 68 at Sulphur Springs. That's our lone temperature under 70 degrees. But look at Tyler, already 73 there at the airport, 75 in Jacksonville, and it's 76. That is the current reading in Lufkin, Texas. All of us warming up into the 70s eventually, 77 degrees. That will be your high temperature in some of our central counties. And I may actually need to up that just a little bit if we continue to see that sunshine calling for now about a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms better chances the further east you go and then before midnight tonight we're not going to see much in the way of rain after midnight but before midnight 64 degrees that will be your low temperature with about a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms 60% coverage for us again tomorrow and then we head into your Thursday and Friday look at that we really start to decrease those rain chances but we still have rain in the forecast so you you do need to be prepared for the possibility of that rain through at least Saturday afternoon, but Sunday and Monday not looking half bad with temperatures only being in the 80s. And then for deep east Texas, similar story. Lots of chances of rain over the next several days, about a 60% coverage, particularly for San Augustine County pointing off to the east. That happens this afternoon. Similar story on Wednesday, but we do start to dry out by the latter half of the week.